Hey y'all and welcome to the Crazy Sock Lady YouTube channel. My name is Kay and this is my channel where I share all about my knitting, crocheting, and crafting adventures. Today is Tuesday, May 11th <laughs> and I've just finished recording the two circular tutorial. I have one little snippet that I need to record for both the tutorials. It'll go in both of them but other than that the two main tutorials that come out June 1st for Summer Sock Camp are done. I am so excited. My hair is a little wild today because I've had it pulled up. When I record tutorials, I pull my hair up like way up on top of my head <laughs> because it's gotten so long that when I am like leaning forward to record a tutorial, sometimes my hair will like you'll see it in the edge of the film. So I've got to pull it way up so that it's out of the way. But I have an appointment to get a haircut on Thursday. But anyways. <laughs> I think I'm a little too bright today. Let's take that down a couple notches. All right, so today we have two giveaways to announce. We have a giveaway winner to announce from last episode, which I'm just realizing I have not drawn the winner for that yet. So I'm going to, when we get to that point later on where I announce the winner, I'll put the name on the screen. I'll draw it after I finish recording. I can't believe I forgot to do that. I have a finished object. I have works in progress, some half finished objects. Oh, we've got lots of stuff that came in the mail. Oh my goodness, so much fun stuff today. So, hope you've got your coffee or your beverage and something to work on and you're ready to jump right in. I of course have coffee as always. But you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as the Crazy Sock Lady. And we do have a group for this podcast on Ravelry. I will have links down below this video in the description box to everywhere that you can find me. Links to project pages. Every project that I show does have a project page. Um, shops that I talk about. All that fun stuff. You're going to find that down below this video. Couple of admin things. So regarding prize winners. The prize winner from episode 100, I announced it on episode 138, but it's the prize from episode 137 has not contacted me, right? Looking back at my notes to make sure. Yes, the winner that I announced in episode 138, Rebecca Cook has not contacted me. So Rebecca, send me an email, crazysockladypodcast at gmail.com so that I can get your prize out to you. I also have two winners from the Musselberg hat knit along that have not contacted me. So those winners were announced in episode 137. For both of these winners, um, well, there's the two winners from the Musselberg cow and the one from episode 138. Three of those, all three of those winners, if they have not contacted me by May 17th, I'm going to draw new winners for those items. So that would be announced next week's episode, right? new winners if I have not heard from them. So Summer Sock Camp starts June 1st. Just a reminder about that. The Ravelry threads for it, because I've had so many questions coming in about the knit along, Ravelry threads with all of the details will come out later this month, later in May, closer to the start of camp. There is the video here on YouTube. That's where you can find out all the details right now, but more specific things and everything for the cabins will open up in Ravelry later this month. There is the welcome desk that's open in the Ravelry group right now. That's a great place to go and chat about camp. There have been lots of questions asked and answered within that thread. VIP slots are sold out because I've had a lot of questions, um, people coming in wanting to know if they can get in on the VIP slots. So those are sold out, but they are not required to participate in camp. Um, they were just they were just a fun extra. They are sold out for this year. You do not need to sign up for camp itself. Again, all the details are in the YouTube video. No need to sign up, you just jump in and participate. Camp merchandise is still available over in the merchandise spreadshirt shop linked below this video. The Etsy shop still has pre-orders for Summer Sock Camp enamel pins and Summer Sock Camp progress keepers. Um, every order that was not a pre-order item so even if you or did not have a pre-order item in it, because if you ordered other items with your pre-order item, they have not shipped yet. But everything that did not have anything pre-order <laughs> attached to it has shipped. So you should have gotten your shipping notification for that. You can always log into Etsy 
go to your purchases, see your order to see if you ordered a pre-order item and can't remember or um, to see the estimated ship by date for anything. Pre-order items don't have an estimated ship by date because I'm still waiting on them. As soon as I have them, I will start shipping those orders out. Please contact me via Etsy if you ever have any questions about something you've purchased through Etsy. It's the best way for me to link you with your order and see where that order stands in the grand scheme of things. All right, I think that's it. I think that's all. <laughs> that was a lot. I wanted to cover that because it's things I've had questions about so much recently. Um, so I just wanted to kind of go over it all. Now we're gonna talk finished objects. I did finish a pair of socks. So I finished my high school sweetheart socks. This is the yarn from Macy of Mace of Skeins. And I finished these on Thursday. Carrie and I recorded a new episode for the One More Row podcast. And I worked on these during that and then finished the second sock up while we were sitting and knitting after we finished recording. So here's a look at those. I did steam block them because I steam blocked mine and Eric's stockings. I haven't fixed Eric's little thing around the top that I need to fix yet. So I'll show those once I get around to doing that. I just haven't had a chance. But I just laid these out because they were right here on the table and just kind of ran the garment steamer over, over them. It's not something I ever typically do, but I thought, whatever, they're right there. So here's a close up of this sock. I did a knit one, purl one, twisted rib for the cuff. And that is just knitting the knit stitches through the back loop, purling as normal. And 64 stitches. And I knit these on two 16 inch circulars, US 1 2.25 millimeter. Basically it's the vanilla socks on magic loop pattern, just with a twisted rib instead of just a regular knit one, purl one. Slip stitch, heel flap, guess it toe. Same as always. I love these and I am so happy that they are done. They're going to go up in my sock containers, my <laughs> spots that I have all my socks in, which I actually went through both of those. They're actually ornament containers. I've shown them on vlogs and stuff in the past, but they're ornament containers and they were both full. And then I had yarn like sock finished socks stored down here in my office that I, that I couldn't even fit them in the containers but I went through and I got rid of all of my socks that had afterthought heels took them all out they're ready I know where they're gonna go so um I just haven't done that yet but anyways they're all out of the thing and it freed up so much room so now I feel like I can just fill that back up and it just makes me even more excited about knitting socks so yes, I got rid of everything that had an afterthought heel, took it out of there. There were a couple of socks that even had heel flap and gusset that just for some reason, I don't know if my tension was super loose when I knit them, they were way too big around. So I pulled them out as well. That was only two pairs, I think, but there were so many that I had done an afterthought heel because for so long, I felt like I had to do an afterthought heel if I was using self-striping yarn. And that is just not the case. I just need to do what fits me and that is the best way to do it. Not just, oh, I don't want to interrupt the stripes too much. So I'm going to do an afterthought heel just because of the look of it, but then they don't fit my feet. Like that's just totally silly. So do what fits you the best, not what you think you should be doing with a certain type of yarn. Do what you're going to wear because some of those I had never even worn because an afterthought heel just does not fit me at all. So. Finished object, glad to have these done. I felt like they were on the needles for a very long time. And let's see. Oh, I did also finish a super top secret design, sock design. Can't show it obviously, cause it's super top secret, but I finished that and I've been working on um, a couple of other designs, the pink and gray designs that you guys did have seen before. We well, haven't seen the design itself, but you've seen the yarn and all of that. I've been working on getting those done. There's so many fun things coming this summer in the way of new designs and I can't wait 
to get them all done and ready to share with you guys. New cast on happened since last time. The heat just kicked on. It is so cold <laughs> here recently. It's definitely been cooler and I'm ready for warmer weather. So yeah, the heat just kicked on. I have this in a bag from Noble Character Crafts. Such a sweet bag. And I cast on a new pair of socks. I'm pretty sure this had not been started. No, because I'm on day six, right? Yes, I think so. So anyways, I finished my stocking and I cast on this sock to do for my 30 minutes of knitting. I get asked so many times, how long does it take me to knit a sock? How many hours does it take me to knit a sock? And I've never timed myself. So I thought, well, this is perfect. I will do it for 30 minutes. I know I have those 30 minutes every day. Maybe I did talk about this last week. Or maybe I'm thinking of the One More Row podcast. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> this is the sock that I cast on. So we are at, I think, day six, three hours, and I am through the gusset decreases. I'm using nine inch circulars, chow goo. I do not want to focus. There we go. 64 stitches. I did a knit two purl two for the ribbing. Basically vanilla socks on magic loop, knit two purl two for the ribbing. I 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 rounds for the leg is what I did. I have my markers marking every 10th round over on this side. And I'm loving this. The yarn is Stormwatch by Hypnotic Yarn. This was in the Yarnable box for April. It is so deep and moody with grays and purple and black. I am thoroughly enjoying it. So I was thinking, this was day six, right? Let me double check and see what day I was on today, on Tuesday. I have it saved in a highlight on my Instagram profile. So if you go to my Instagram, it's saved on a highlight right there. And every day I'm posting my progress on there. What I did that day for my 30 minutes of knitting and then like the total time that I'm at so far. So yeah, today was day six, total time three hours. Today I knit 20 rounds, finishing up the gusset decreases. I'm averaging about 20 some rounds a day it seems like. Obviously the heel and stuff, that kind of breaks up just the plain stockinette knitting. I'm kind of interested to see I feel like I'm faster on two 16 inch circulars, honestly. I feel like that's the fastest way for me to knit socks. And I'll show you a project and tell you why I, I think that in a minute. But this may be something I have to do throughout the summer to try different methods and see what way is faster to finish a sock for me. Because I do feel like you, it changes. Different needles and techniques can change your speed so kind of interested to see that that is a new sock cast on okay I also on I think this was on Thursday as well I was like in a finishing mode on Thursday I finished one of my share a pair socks So the share a pair is, um, I have one that I got in the mail to show you in just a bit, but this is yarn by Amanda of Mandy's Makings. And this one was the Easter basket share a pair. This is a total mess, but yeah, that's the two skeins. They are split. Each set has two 50 gram skeins. And then the idea is you 
knit along with a friend or you could knit them both up yourself and have two pairs of socks so this was sock number one i'm knitting these on nine inch circulars again that's definitely been a favorite recently and i get asked what is my favorite way i don't have one i just bounce around to whatever i feel like casting on when it's time to cast on or whatever needles are free i just i like knitting socks i really don't have a favorite way of knitting in the round when I do them. I do sometimes tend to gravitate more towards one or the other. Lately it's been nine inch, but there is no favorite. So for this one, I did the pink for the heels, the heel, toe, and cuff for this sock. And then I striped in the speckled and I have a tutorial for how I do that here on YouTube. I will link that. And this is, I'm already past the heel on the second sock. I'm in the gusset decreases and I did the speckled for this one and striped in the pink. That's just my favorite way of doing it. I think it's fun to swap them and then they're, they're matching, but they're not it's like, they're not identically matching, but you know that they go together. So 64 stitches with the nine inch. I didn't say this with the other sock. I use a US zero two millimeter because when I'm using a nine inch, my gauge is a little bit looser than any other method of knitting in the round for socks. So I just go down to a zero and it evens everything out. Good to go. <laughs> so yeah, 64 stitches, vanilla socks on nine inch again. Only difference is knit two, purl two for the rib. That's the basic recipe that I always use for my socks is one of those those vanilla patterns it just depends on what needle I'm working on and I have the um these socks in a bag from carry of stolen minutes pretty cat bag I only brought one other work in progress down and this is in my summer sock camp bag from Vita of so crazy crafter my camp pins on there from last year and this year and this is the two circular socks so I finished everything I need to record other than one little snippet that'll go in each tutorial that's coming out June 1st but the first socks done as of this morning so this yarn is by Amanda of Mandy's Makings. It is her French roast colorway. Such a pretty navy. I did follow the vanilla socks on magic loop pattern for this. Yes, I was knitting with two 16 inch circulars, but the basis, the layout, everything is the same as magic loop. So that is the pattern I recommend you follow if you want a written pattern to go along with the YouTube tutorial that comes out June 1st. I have my markers every 10 rounds going down and I actually knit these for Eric. So originally it was just gonna be for me and then I was finishing up the foot yesterday and I was ready to like put it away so that I could record the toe this morning. And I'm just looking at it and I'm like, you know, this is like the perfect navy for Eric. It just seemed like they needed to be for him. And he actually just um, had to buy a suit for work not something that he'll wear every day but so that he had a suit to wear for things at work and it's navy so I told him I said these will go perfect with your suit because he the day that he's had to wear it so far he wore hand knit socks but he didn't have any navy so and he said he won the cool sock contest they were all showing off their socks and he was like you know these are this brand and that brand and he's like well mine are actually hand knit by my wife he said so I won the cool sock contest it wasn't really a contest but <laughs> I thought that was sweet so I just thought this navy would be perfect for him so I just knit it a little bit longer and then put it away to finish the toe this morning I have not started the second sock yet. I did use two 16 inch circular US one 2.25 millimeter Chowgu needles. And I'm going to hopefully edit the tutorial for the two circulars and the flyers tomorrow. 
I still need to record a little snippet to go in both of them, but I can get the basis of the tutorial recorded is my plan. And then I will know if there's anything else that I need to re-record to fix any errors or anything that may have happened because that does sometimes happen <laughs> with tutorials. So that'll let me know if I can go ahead and start the second sock and just knit through them or if I need to get the second sock to that particular part of the sock and re-record any errors. So hopefully I will do that tomorrow and then I can cast these on. The second sock for this and the second sock for the flyers. Because I have a trip this weekend, I'll talk about that in a minute, but I just remembered I was going to talk about two circulars. So in my speed on them, I don't know why. It's really the same as Magic Loop, but when I am knitting Magic Loop, I always, every time I turn my needles, for some reason drop my yarn, adjust my needles, and then tension my yarn back in my hand. With two circulars, I don't do that. I just turn my work, pull my back needle up, you'll see it in the tutorial, and start knitting away. So for me, I really feel like I'm faster on two circulars. I'm gonna have to test this theory this summer. After I do the nine inch, see how long the sock takes me, I will do magic loop and then two circulars because I really feel like I'm faster. I did not think that two circulars would be something that would really stay in the rotation of you know me just picking whatever I feel like, but I think it might because yesterday I, where was I at? Oh, I was ready to start the heel. So I recorded the tutorial for the heel flap, heel turn, picking up gusset stitches, how to do your gusset decreases yesterday that I hopped on the exercise bike and I think I was on there for just over 30 minutes finishing off the gusset decreases. And then within a matter of hours I had finished this whole foot maybe it's not going to equal out to be that much of a difference now that I think about it but I just feel like it's faster so we'll see I'm definitely I think gonna have to test that theory out but I'm hoping the tutorial is good to go when I go through everything tomorrow and then I can cast these on and have this probably to work on in the car on my trip this weekend so Carrie of Stolen Minutes and I are going to the Kentucky Sheep and Wool, Sheep and Fiber, I can't remember <laughs> what it's called. It is in Lexington, Kentucky, Saturday and Sunday. So we are actually leaving Friday morning and we decided to do like a little mini yarn crawl all the way from here in Centerville. I mean, there's not a shop here in Centerville, but here in our local area, all the way down to Lexington. We have Carrie has a list of shops that I'm not can't remember if she's been to all of them, but we're gonna stop in at all of them. And then we have a Airbnb that we've rented for Friday and Saturday night, and then we will come home Sunday. So we will be at the Fiber Festival in Lexington, Kentucky on Saturday. Then we have a class that we're taking Saturday afternoon. So we'll be at the festival Saturday morning around that time. So yeah, if you're gonna be there, you see us, be sure to wave, say hi. Hopefully we'll get to see some of y'all, but I can't wait. It's been so long since I've been to any fiber events. Obviously I think it's been that way for all of us. And it's been so long since I've been out of town. That used to be something I did somewhat regularly going to different events. And then just when we lived in Arizona, I always went with my knit group up to Flagstaff and we would spend the weekend just knitting. So I am so excited about this because it has just been so long since I've had a weekend with a knitting friend to just knit and talk knitting and you know whatever but it's just been so long so it's gonna be so much fun I'm even more excited about it I was so excited but even more now that we're gonna do this little mini yarn crawl because I've only been to one yarn shop in the area so it's gonna be fun to get to see them like down through Cincinnati and all of these other places I think it's gonna be a lot of fun but Carrie's driving, so I want to cast on, if not this sock, I want to have another just plain vanilla sock. No striping, no nothing to work on in the car. 
All right, is that it for, that's it for works in progress. Okay, I think we're ready to talk some mail. So I did want to mention last episode, I showed some yarn from Nancy of Under the Heavens yarn. And Nancy messaged me and wanted me to make sure I let y'all know that she has listed a 12 days of Christmas mini skein advent calendar. It's in a 20 gram or 10 gram option. I will have her linked below so you can head over to Under the Heavens and find out all of the information about it. But the first five people to purchase an advent in either size, the 20 gram or the 10 gram, and put in the notes when you purchase, um, just Crazy Sock Lady, mention Crazy Sock Lady, you will get an extra mini skein. Okay, the camera cut me off. So um, what I was saying, if you purchase either size of the calendar from under the heavens, either the 20 gram or the 10 gram, and you put in the notes when you purchase Crazy Sock Lady, you will get an extra mini skein with your purchase. We also have a pattern prize donation for Summer Sock Camp. This is from Allison of Stitchery & Co. She has a classic socks crochet pattern that is out right now. I'm going to link it down below. So she's donated a copy of that pattern and then she has also given a coupon code for podcast viewers and this code gives you 20% off anything in her Etsy shop. And this is Sock Camp 21 and it is good until August 1st. So make sure you head over and check out that. I'm very intrigued by crocheted socks. I've never tried them before. All right, we're just gonna go through all of the mail and then we will announce the giveaway for this episode. We have two giveaways for this episode as well as the giveaway winner from episode 139. So I did receive the latest row one yarn. Take it out here. So row one yarn is a yarn subscription service where you get mini skeins. Look at those. She has a different dyer each month. And I love that they're packaged with the name of the yarn on them. So each mini has the name of the yarn. It has the yarn dyer and the name of the yarn. So I think that's great. So you'll know what it is if you wanna to try to go purchase anything. Oh my gosh, this is perfect for camp. So in there's always a little package in here with some information and there's a stitch marker that's a camper. So cute. There's some treats in here. Dad's old fashioned root beer. And then there's a note that always tells you who the yarn dyer is for this month. It's Asylum Fibers. Tells you a little bit about the yarn, the dyer behind it. And then it always has all of the colorway names listed. So I love row one yarn. I need to break out one of these sets that I have and knit some strappy socks like ASAP. Oh my goodness, I'm seeing a colorway that I love on here. Those two right there. I'm sure I'm sure you're shocked that those are the two I, I like. Yeah, I definitely need to start some scrappy socks soon. I love that they come in this bag because I can tuck everything in here and then put it in my cabinet and the information, the paper is, everything's right there in that bag. So nice. I received a surprise package from Wild Star Fibers. She sent two of her shooting star colorways. So this one is 21 slash or dash 065 on her supernova sock fingering, which is an 85% superwash merino, 15% nylon. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I love that one. Woo, dropping stuff. 
This one is 21-067. I think these are her one of a kind um, colorways like this. So this will be going, both of these into the prize bin for future prizes or giveaways. I received um, the May share pair from Amanda of Mandy's Makings that we are gonna be knitting along together. So I need to get on the ball and finish the Easter basket one from April. This is a beautiful rain. So pretty. Just so delicately speckled. Look at that blue. Oh, I can't wait to cast this one on. That's gonna be so much fun. I love knitting these together with Amanda. Then I had a viewer send over some knitting needles that she is not able to use. So these will be put in as prizes for summer sock camp. She sent over two nine inch circulars. I think this one is, there's a 2.75 millimeter and a 2.25 millimeter. So it was so sweet and generous of her. She doesn't use them, so she thought she would send them over. Sharon of Knit Style Yarn reached out and wanted to know if she could donate to Summer Sock Camp. And she sent over three beautiful colorways. I have never used her yarns and they are just stunning. So this is Happy Pandas. This is on her Merino Nylon Socks. So it's Superwash Merino Nylon Blend. 100 grams, 463 yards. There's her logo. Very pretty. This one is Spring on the Farm. And this one is just amazing. This is Prince Charming's Royal Carousel. Look at that. So many colors. Oh, I love it. So these will be prizes for Summer Sock Camp. Summer Sock Camp prizes are just going to be like through the roof exciting. I can't wait. All right. So we have a lot of goodies in this next package. And this is from Lacey and I'm going to make sure I leave her note right here so that I can tell you she gave us a discount code. So we have a ton of progress keepers, stitch markers, so many pretty, pretty things. Like look how precious that is a sweet little duck. I love these vintage looking scissors. Oh, this guy is so cute. Oh, this one says Camp Rocks. That's adorable. There's just so many fun ones. And she also, I can't. I can't show them all or I feel like we would be here for quite a while because she was so generous with these. Then she also included some sticker packs that are for camping. So we will be able to put together so many fun prizes. There's sock shaped point protectors. So many fun things in here. Set those down there. And then she sent over two bags as well. They are both zippered bags. Let's see where the opening is. Here we go. And they're both camping themed. So they are a boxed bottom. 
She has her label right there. Inside fabric is the campfire. Perfect sock sized bag. And in this one, we don't camp, we glamp. It is like, that's perfect, that's me. Such a sweet fabric. This one's got some blue polka dots on the inside. Here's her logo. So thank you so much, Lacey. These are going to make some amazing, amazing prize packages for summer sock camp. And the discount code that she has offered is 10% off everything in her shop starting May 5th through July 31st using the code SSC21. So I will have all of that down below as well. Um, and she did, I don't know if these are still in her shop, but it said available starting May 8th. She will have a very limited number of the sock camp themed bags. So head over and check out her shop. We're not done yet. <laughs> not done yet. So Ashley sent over these and I, Eric was there when I opened these and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so Ashley of Getty Yarn Co. I am not positive that I'm pronouncing that correctly, but look at that sweet little cat on there. And look at this. This is the one that I gasped at. So pretty. So this is her once upon a time colorway on her calico sock fingering weight, which is a 7525 superwash merino nylon blend. Beautiful. So beautiful. And then the other one that she sent over is her Daughter of Athena colorway. Same base. I love both of these so much. And she said that she also has a coupon code. The code is May 10, and that will get you 10% off any purchase throughout the month of May in her shop. So many generous makers this time. My mind is always so blown and overwhelmed in the best way possible at the generosity of people. And she did say, feel free to keep for yourself or use for a giveaway. I'm very tempted to keep this one for myself, but I also want to share it with y'all. I can't decide. I'm not sure. I always... I don't know why I feel bad keeping them anything for myself. I feel like I should share it all with y'all because these makers are so, so generous. Okay, just a couple more things. So Shelly of Daisy Stitch Co. sent over a couple of sets for Summer Sock Camp. Open up the bag here. They are so pretty. Look at these. So this one is icing on the cake with raspberry. My guess is this is icing on the cake and this is raspberry. This is her 50 gram sock set. It is a 50 gram skein of yarn, 7525 superwash merino nylon blend, and then a 20 gram mini skein. And you can definitely get socks out of that. A shorter leg more than likely, unless you have a very smaller foot. I wear a US woman size nine. So it would be a shorty sock for me to make sure I had enough yarn, but you can totally do a pair of socks out of a 50 gram skein of yarn with the mini, mini skein. So here's this one. And then this one is Fiesta with Marigold. This one is just so many beautiful colors, such a fun, set. It is the same thing, a 50 gram with a 20 gram. I love that. Okay, I think we only have one more thing. And it was such a fun 
package to receive. Let me get them out here. I have to show you the card too because it's so cute. So this is from Lisa and Karen at Knit Nook Yarn Shop in Moorhead City, North Carolina. The yarn shop that I'm still so sad did not get to be my local yarn shop for more than like the one time that I got to go there. I wish I would have went there more when I lived there. But this card, okay, we have to show this. Bad to the bone. Look how sweet that is. This is for Summer Sock Camp. She said a little something for you and something to give away as a prize to choose whichever set I wanted to keep for myself that my friend Karen, who lived down the road from me, was in my knit group in North Carolina, sewed the bags and notions pouches. And Susan, who also had come to my knit group in North Carolina, did the yarn. Such a talented group of ladies. I miss them very much. So we have two sets. Let me show you the, um, the bags as we go. So here's the first set. Look at those cute monkeys the inside fabric. I love these types of bags. They're great if you're going to be standing or walking around knitting. This would be perfect for this weekend if I wanted to knit while we walked around the festival. And it has a pocket on the inside as well. I'll show you the notions things and then we'll go over the yarns. So there is a needle cozy. I love these. They are great for DPNs, magic loop, they just snap and you can put your needles inside even when your work is on there. And then this thing is adorable. You can put scissors down in there. That's probably what this is for, huh? <laughs> you can put scissors in there or you could even, you could use it as a like stitch marker progress keeper holder, just slide them down in. But I bet that's for scissors. Duh. Light bulb moment. Okay, it's adorable. So cute. And the yarn for this one, this is by Sheep Dipped Dye Works. This is Stormy Skies. Look how pretty that is. I love like the denim-y blue in there. And this is on her um, staple socks, which is 75 Superwash Merino 25% nylon, or 75, I think it said 70, 75, 25 <laughs> Superwash Merino nylon. And I will say neither Susan nor um, Karen have shops where they sell these online, their yarn and bags. I'm pretty sure you can get Karen's bags at the Knit Nook, but the, I know Susan's yarn is only available at the Knit Nook. I'm pretty sure the bags is the same. So here's the second bag, bright and perfect for spring, same style. It has a pocket on the inside. Same little notions, the DPN or a needle cozy, and the scissor cozy or whatever you want to put in it. <laughs> and the yarn for this one, this is so much fun. This is Sound Side. Same base and by Sheep Dipped Dye Works. And I think this is the one I'm gonna keep for me. I love it. So much. I love them both. It was a tough decision, but I've been thinking on this one and I think this is the one I'm going to keep for me. Like I said, I always feel bad keeping any of them for me, <laughs> but I, I do think this is the one I'll keep. And then they also sent two of their bags, canvas bags with the Knit Nook logo. They're both the same, right? Yes, both the same. I think I'll snag one of these and use it this weekend when I go to the festival in Kentucky. The other one I'm gonna fold up and tuck down inside of the bag. I think that'll be perfect. I can put this down in my purse and then if I buy any yarn, I can pull it out and store my yarn in there for the festival. Okay, tucked the other one down inside of here. And that's it for mail. Okay, now we have the giveaway.
for this episode. So we have two. Let me grab the one. Hmm. Or actually, we'll go over this one first, and then I'll show you the physical stuff that I have here to show you for the other giveaway. So Mint Rain Yarns contacted me and wanted to do a giveaway for their 2021 self striping advent yarn. So I will link their shop down below. They do have listings open for this now if you want to head over and check it out. But they want to give a skein away, which is so amazing. I love advent calendars. I love the self striping yarns for advent. They're so fun to knit up into socks and just do a little bit each day. If you order them or if you win this prize, it will ship mid August is what they are planning on. So the giveaway, just anything that you comment down below will enter you for this giveaway and the other one that I'm going to show. And then I will draw two winners. If you want to do one over the other, that's fine. You can say that as well um, in the comment, but I'll draw two winners next time, one for each. So that's one of our giveaways. And Mitt Rain Yarns did give us a coupon code for 10% off until the end of May. And that code is Sock Lady 10. So again, all details down below. Let me grab our giveaway, other giveaway for this episode. So I have the Summer Sock Camp 2021 colorway from Amanda of Mandy's Makings. So pretty. And this is part of our giveaway. We are also going to do, it's going to be just a little get ready for camp package here. So I have that. I have a bag from Mountain State Stitches. A drawstring bag. A little notions pouch from Random Fandom Bags. It looks like a tea bag. It's so cute. The Kate Atherley book, Custom Socks Knit to Fit Your Feet. And then we had a viewer donate some Addy Flexi Flips. So I have a couple of different sizes for these and I'll, once the winner gets in contact with me and all of that, we can decide which size they want. The one I pulled out is a 2.25 millimeter. I feel like that's a pretty common size, but if another one works best, we can do that. Or if a different needle, like I have the nine inches, we can, we can swap it up and do whatever works best for the winner. And we'll talk about that when I draw the winner. Um, but yes, yeah, some needles, flexi flips or, or something else. And then I'm also, I didn't bring it over, but I'm going to put together a little notions, um, container with some stitch markers, light bulb markers, little things like that, that you need to get ready to knit socks. So that is our other giveaway package. Any comment below will enter you for either of those. Like I said, if you want one over the other, put that in the comments so that when I draw, I'll know, okay, they wanted that one and all of that. I think that's it for this episode. Might be kind of a long one. There's just so many fun things to share with camp coming up. I definitely feel like my hair is a little crazy today. We also have the giveaway winner from last episode. I'm going to put the name here on the bottom of the screen because like I said, I forgot to record it before I started recording and I'm like tucked in here in my corner with my lights and I would have to go to the computer to do all of it. So I'm just going to put the name here at the bottom of the screen. Congratulations for winning the giveaway from episode 139. That was for the Barnyard Knits Lakeside Collarway Skein of Yarn. If you would just get in touch with me at crazysockladypodcast at gmail.com, I will get that sent out to you. Chatter today. I don't think I really have anything else. I've chatted about the festival. That's the main thing going on. I chatted about finishing up the two circulars tutorial and hopefully I'm going to get those edited tomorrow. And yeah, just the rest of this month is going to be like finalizing all of the camp details to be ready to go for the start of camp on June 1st. We are getting very, very close to the start of camp. It's super exciting. So I hope that y'all enjoyed this episode. If you ever want to donate anything to the podcast, just get in touch with me at crazysockladypodcast at gmail.com. That's a great place to ask any questions if you have those as well. Sometimes Instagram is definitely not the best place to get in touch with me. Even YouTube comments, things can get kind of buried and sometimes I do fall behind on them. I try not to, but sometimes I do. So email is definitely the best place to reach me with any questions or prize donations or anything like that. Just 
contact me via email. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys again next week for the next episode. And until then, happy making. Bye.